Paul Edward Winfield is an American actor known for the quality roles he portrays in stage, television, and film. During his four-decade career, he has had the ability to play a number of real-life characters, such as Roy Campanella, Martin Luther King Jr., Don King, and Thurgood Marshall. As a child, he watched Mark Robson's House of the Brave, and their film spurred him on to become a performer. He is famous for appearing in the revolutionary TV series Julia. His talent has earned him a number of prestigious awards and nominations. His unique voice allows him to participate in voiceover projects for many cartoons such as Batman Beyond, Spider-Man, and The Simpsons. At the age of 62, Paul Winfield passed away after a heart attack. Here is a summary of his colorful life. Although Paul Winfield went away in 2004, he did so with a positive legacy. He earned praise for his versatility in theater, cinema, and television roles while he was still alive. Winfield passed away following a heart attack. His agent, Michael Livingston, confirmed his passing and acknowledged that he had been battling diabetes and was unwell prior to passing away. For more than 10 years, Winfield has been a mainstay in the motion picture business. He appeared in a number of movies and TV episodes, including The Terminator, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and others. Winfield portrayed Diane Carroll's boyfriend in the comedy Julia in 1968. According to reports, the part gave other black performers on television a platform. He appeared in the 1969 film The Lost Man starring Sidney Poitier, which marked his screen debut. In 1995, Winfield received an Emmy for a cameo on Picket Fences. He won an Academy Award a few years later for his portrayal of a father in the film Souther. Winfield was nominated for a 1978 Golden Glove Award and the Best Actor category for his performance in The Mysteries King. He received a nomination for Best Supporting Actor the following year for his performance as a college chancellor who was prepared to sing in order to raise money for his institution. In 1984, Winfield won praise from the general audience for his portrayal of Gabriel Grimes, the main character in the television adaptation of James Baldwin's semi-autobiographical book, Go Tell It on the Mountain. In 1985, he received an Emmy for a cameo on Picket Fence. He played a federal judge whose decisions over busy inner city kids are challenging by local. Winfield was born in Los Angeles in 1939, where he also resided before his family relocated to the Watts neighborhood of the city. He graduated from Manual Arts High School and demonstrated academic promise by receiving numerous honors. As a senior, he secured his first acting contract and continued his schooling at the University of Portland thanks to a scholarship. He received further scholarships and continued his education at Stanford, another university as well as Los Angeles City College. He apparently left UCLA with only six credits remaining to earn his bachelor's. From there, Winfield went on to join Columbia Pictures as a contract player, where he caught Burgess Meredith's eyes. She gave him roles in two theater productions by Amiri Babaka, and the rest in history. His boyfriend, Charles Gillen Jr., passed away in 2002 from a born condition, leaving his sister, Patricia Wilson, as a survivor. Tell us what you think of Paul Winfrey's death. Please leave your comments in the comment column to let us know. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get the latest celebrity news. Thank you for watching her video.